guys, welcome back. As usual, my name is Kim Prince, and of course, you know what you do over here. Today, we're going to be talking about TB Joshua. <laughs> Charlie, TB Joshua is trendy. You know, he has already died. He died around um, 5th June 2021. But today, he is trending because there's a new documentary released by BBC about TB Joshua. And bro, it's crazy. You know, TB Joshua that we all knew or know was a very powerful man of God who got the attention of millions. But honestly, like I said, the documentary released by BBC indicates that um tb joshua was a fake man of god he was not real all that he was doing um fake miracles it's crazy bro it is just very crazy you know he actually started his ministry around 1987 and just after 2021 we are finding out that all that he was doing was not real like he was not was a powerful man of God. He was a thick, powerful man of God. You know, he has been exposed two years after his death. We've been able to find out what he was involved in. You know, all these years we thought he was what a powerful man of God. But Charlie, son, what's your mind to do? You know? <laughs> it's just crazy. You know, I'm not the one saying, you know. Bro, he has been always, um accused of rape, rituals. Sleeping with words. I know there's a saying that goes like, um, there's no new to another son. This thing we've been yeah, take that. We've been hearing this bio, not from TB Joshua. Come on. So it is from BBC World Service Investigations Unit. BBC African Eye has uncovered evidence of widespread abuse and torture by the founder of one of the world's biggest Christian evangelical churches. In a three-part television documentary, in a three-part television documentary, Disciples, The Court of TB, Joshua, and a new nine-episode season of the World of Secret podcast, dozens of the former members of the Synagogue Church of All Nations alleged atrocities including rape, including what? Rape and forced abortions by the late TB Joshua. So TB Joshua was involved in rape, like... He also was sleeping with what, his church members, some of the us church members, forcing them into what, abortions and it's crazy. Dozens of eyewitness accounts of physical violence carried out by Joshua, including child abuse and people being shaped and chained. What? So TB Joshua was what, involved, like he physically assaulted people, he was chained people. Okay, let me move on. Numerous women who alleged they were sexually assaulted by Joshua, with a number claiming they were repeatedly raped for years inside the compound. Multiple first-hand accounts detailing how Joshua faked his miracle healing, which were broadcast to millions of people around the world. <laughs> so wait, you want to tell me that all the miraculous things that he did, healing people and everything, it was all fake, like... <laughs> He died somewhere around 2021, but we are now seeing this. We should have probably knew about this before he died. You get to me? But, you know, if you, you are a victim and you want to speak about it, they will do everything to silence you. You can't come out and what, say anything about what you are going through or what a pastor was doing to you. So, these members, they used to be there. They are telling us what they were going through over there. This is the first time they've come out. They say they have all spent years trying to raise the alarm, but effectively being silenced. Whenever you try to do that, they will silence you. You know, you can't expose a pastor like that. Like, it's impossible. You can't expose a man of God like that. Because people know him to be a very powerful man of God, so you can't come out and all expose him like that. But this is what he was, was involved in. And I know, yeah, it's common. He's not the only one, he, or he's not the only pastor in... Ah, some pastors, they are all involved in all these things, but you know, they've not been exposed. But I know definitely, one day, one day, some of the, you know, I'm not going to say that all pastors are fake. I can't say that. Some of them, I just, you don't know. Well, TB Joshua has been exposed. And I know if you're also into this as a pastor, definitely, you're going to be exposed. So that said, but if there's any updates, I'm going to be back 
Elena, TB Joshua, the torch. <laughs>